Yeah. It is Friday, 8.05 a.m. We got Derek on the camera. He's been here for five minutes. He's ready to work. Oh, we got a lot of things going on today. Everybody's working today because um, they had Monday off. So Monday was what? Labor Day. Monday was Labor Day. So everybody's working today. Um, Hunter stayed late last night till about 10. He was working on a job excavating some dirt. So we're going to go check on him. We're going to go to the shop, check on John and Eric. Uh, I think we should probably have a little chat with John. John's got an interview at another employer. Uh, so we got to have a little chat with him, see what's going on there. And uh, the rest of them are over in Platteville. So let's go see how this lovely Friday is going to turn out here. It's going to be a great Friday. Certainly not a f***ing Tuesday, I'll tell you that. Go make some money today. You mentioned that John has a job interview somewhere else. Yeah, which I know nothing about. Well, I do now. I mean, he must have told somebody in the shop, and word got back to the boss that John's got an interview somewhere else. Not a life or death situation. Kind of upsetting, just because I just wish. You know, he'd come talk to me and let me know if there's an issue or something's bothering him or he's not making enough money or what's going on. I mean, if the shoe was on the other foot, like let's just say I had an issue with John, um, I would talk to him or, you know, discuss it. I wouldn't just fire him. So it kind of goes both ways. If you're an employee and you're thinking about going somewhere else, be afraid to talk to your boss and say hey I don't like this or hey I want to do this or something's wrong you know communication is key we're gonna go uh, ask John what the fuck's going on here but we're gonna stop check on Hunter first like I said he's digging some holes for a concrete guy this morning so let's go see what he's doing we got a load of pumpkins there one strap holding her all on there. Nope, two straps. I got two straps on her. There's Hunter. Making big mess. Big, big mess. These guys are pressure washing the water tower yesterday. Apparently they didn't want to hire local for that, huh? Yeah, I think that's kind of a... <laughs> pressure washing water towers isn't... Uh kind of a specialty service so we got a little bit of a mess here um, not really quite sure what's going on all we're doing is excavation in the backfill here but uh, they're putting some concrete walls in here like I said all we're doing is excavation this stuff's like peanut butter down in there we'll have to haul all this out guys will come in put the concrete walls in here and then we'll come in and backfill it with clean stone. Pretty big hole. That's what she said. <laughs> then there's another hole out front here. Same thing. We don't do concrete walls or anything like that, but we'll do the excavation for it. Hunter's got his hoodie on. He's chilly boy. Yeah. They're all a bunch of babies. You got a sweatshirt on. I'm a I'm a baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm put the dirt bucket in Looks like he's hitting the power line. Look that. What'd you do? Just hit the power line. Is that supposed to come up? Probably not. I don't know. I got told to dig a hole, D-Rock. Now what do we do? Uh, probably just run. <laughs> Must be the Bluetooth power cables because I don't see any wires in there, just tubes. You didn't want to try that other bucket? No. Okay, well, I'll finish this and then I guess clean your machine off. And, uh, and put it over there? Yeah, probably over there somewhere. Don't drive it on their blacktop and then just keep it out in the grass or whatever. And maybe I'll come move it today. All right, sounds good. How deep you going? Good. Six? What'd you say? Six foot. You're going six foot deep. 
Yeah. Alright. There's nothing in there. Well, good thing Derek's here, guys. <laughs> I think he's got that under control. He's literally just got to dig a hole. And yeah, Derek, it's six feet deep. That's as tall as you. How many bob loads are out of here? How many bob loads is that going to be? Four. Yeah. At least. Ugh. That shit's nasty down there. It's like peanut butter. All right. Well, I got my first job done today. Check on Hunter. Is that the only thing on the docket for him today? No. I can't remember what else he's got to work on today. But Let's go check on John and Eric. They're working on that truck in the shop. John's just out having a smoke break. Justin's here with the car, all stickered up. Look at that fancy shit. You're coming out here with a texture. No, I come here four times a day and I yeah. still can't remember to grab them. Grab yeah, what? Work order. Holly's sick and Dan's sick, so you're the next one. What are you doing here, Justin? Getting some receipts and work orders. What are you doing? Are you taking you doing that? Nice. What do you need those for? Oh, receipts. You got to file and then figure out our hours for the work orders. Make sure we're doing good. How often do you just slip yourself a little bit of money? Is that a pretty often occurrence? Or? Slip myself a little bit of money? Yeah. I think there were some past guys, that sales <laughs> managers that did that. So like, there's some precautions that I can't do that. They got, so. you, they got you on lockdown? Oh yeah, keep a close eye. <laughs> Morning, Eric. Morning. What are we working on? I want to vacuum these seats. Yeah, all right. Might as well. Did you get all the Hornets out? So far. You been finding any more in there? Nope. Like they got her all back together here. Think it'll run? I'm trying to just say now the question is, will it run? Well, if you did everything right, it should be fine, right? The wiring harness is the hardest part. <laughs> That's a nightmare. It's bad. Probably turn the headlights on and the heater will turn on. <laughs> as long as the heater works, that's fine. Yeah. Just gotta have the headlights on. Should we put seats in it now or should we wait until it goes back on the truck? I would do it right now, but I don't really care how you guys do it. As long as the cap bolts on the inside pull. Oh, they should. That's the only thing I'm oh. more concerned about. This one ain't rusty. You know what I mean? It shouldn't, you shouldn't have any issues like that. So you guys are going to clean those seats up and then Put those in and then it's pretty much ready to go or what? Yeah. Okay. The only big job left to tackle is that steering box. Oh yeah. Which is that easier to do off? Cable off? Or I guess it ain't gonna make a difference. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. Okay. You know, it's very Okay, be up on the nice job. Yeah. I'm assuming. Come on from the bottom, yeah. Okay. Rusty as hell. This ain't bad? No. The frame? Is that not all rust? No, it's just surface rust. Oh. Thanks. 205 is rusty. <laughs> See the bottom of 205, that one's bad. No, this is just all surface rust. It's not bad. Is all the stuff back here junk? No, that's all pretty much gotta go back on the truck. Oh. I was thinking that one fender killed that trot and out of the bottom. Couldn't we cut that bad rust out and just weld a new piece in? Yeah, I mean we could, I don't know. Probably just wait till winter time. That way we can just get it back together and you guys can use it the rest of the season and then whatever. It is what it is. Kinds of parts. Airbag. 
We should, uh, have you ever seen those videos where they like hide those underneath chairs? Yeah. They pop them up. I'm not sure if we want to do that and break somebody's back while on the job. But. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Make sure all this back shit's tidied up, snug in there. I don't want it rattling. Look at all, right. the, look at all the bees in there. So the young one. Won't. So what do you guys think you could have done today? Probably cab back on and bolted down. Wires all plugged back in. I'm hoping that, but pretty mm -hmm. much everything but the fenders. Okay. Everything but the front clip, basically. Yeah. Unless I had Hunter come back and help you that way, this truck would be done for Monday. And I guess you guys could use a different truck. I should have it back up and going by Monday. You want to work tomorrow or? I think I'll come in tomorrow. And okay. And for the way and get close to 40. Oh, you're not there yet? Hmm. I can start putting like eight hour days in. Well, that's fine. Here, do you want to come in tomorrow and work a little bit, or? I could probably come in in the morning for a little bit, then I gotta go to Petersburg and yeah. build the derby truck. That's fine. Is it all right if the fiance comes out with me? I don't care. So that we can just leave here to go to Petersburg? Just bring John some snacks. Maybe buy John a pack of Marlboros. Montegos. I think they'd smoke the same cigarettes so they could bum bum them. Well, we do that. Oh, well, we do it anyways. <laughs> John runs out, he just attacks my pack. If I run out, I attack John's pack. Hmm. Just swapping smokes all day. Yeah. Well. Which one's better, John, the Montegos or the Marbs? Me, I'd rather have the Marbs. I'd rather have the Marbs too. <laughs> Montegos are cheap. <laughs> So Eric's the one who runs out first a lot, so he can borrow John's marbs. Is that how it goes? I was a camel guy when I smoked. Camel. You smoked? Oh, for a long time. I didn't know that. Yep. Camel crushes. <clears throat> what do you think about those, John? Those are nasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you still bum one if you needed one? Oh, I still bum one. Yeah. <laughs> The addiction runs deep with us, boys. <laughs> I've never smoked, so I don't know what that, what that's all about. So it looks like they gotta bolt the seats in, and then we'll set this cab probably up on the hoist, and then they can set the cab back down and start finishing the wiring up, and hopefully the truck will run again. So today is day four on this project. We started Tuesday. So they basically had a day to get the cab off and then they spent basically two days swapping the cab parts back and forth. And now fourth day they'll be putting her back on and we'll see. Probably turn the key and nothing will happen. We should be here for that probably. That first key start. <laughs> yeah, this truck's already had a first key start. When we put the new motor in it, it was a pretty big thing. Hear that brand new motor running. Now it's got a brand new cab. Box will be rusted out in another year, and then we'll need another box. But you can't win. What is that for, John? You know? Is that for if you get struck by lightning, you don't get electrocuted? I don't know what it's for. You just know how to, how to put it back together. That's all that matters, right? I don't know. I'm kind of just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how mechanics work? What? <laughs> just guess? Sometimes you gotta guess. <laughs> She's gonna be like a brand new truck. It's 
got brand new tires on it. She's just ready to go. You want to give me any update on the skid loader? Or because last time I asked you two months ago, you said it'll be done in a week. So yeah, it'll be done in a week. <laughs> tracks we had to cut this track off this side so it means it gets new tracks that, I don't even know how much these were I think like 2500 bucks 28 I don't know this thing this is what we've been waiting for so this was almost 7,000 bucks that's the drive motor for this side that had to come from overseas, some weird specialty part that nobody could rebuild and nobody could get parts for. So this right here is what made the whole situation shitty. For some reason, this machine has some oddball drive motor on it. All the other ones, you can get a drive motor rebuilt or a reman one for like four grand. I think Hunter's gonna come back and put that drive motor on today. And then we have to get all the internals for inside there the tensioner assembly <clears throat> so that was another i think that was 1600 bucks if you add that up 7000 2500 1600 gets pretty sad pretty quick and then we got to take the other side apart to put the other track on now if we get over there and that one doesn't compress then we're gonna be Caleb's going to be even more mad. It's kind of tempting to keep this thing because we're sticking $10,000 into it. I don't know if we'll sell it or keep it. I probably should just sell it, but we'll see. See how good she runs. How much could you, if, it, if you got it to tip top shape, how much could you sell it for? Uh, that machine probably cleaned up. I mean, the undercarriage is basically all new now. I'm betting probably 27 to 30,000 bucks, somewhere around there. I don't know, I like that machine for the dirt work, loading dirt, stuff like that. It's got more power and it's a little bit bigger than the Bobcat, but it might make more sense just to get that one sold and just buy another Bobcat, maybe another new one where we got the warranty and all that jazz. So Eric, do you know how long it takes for news to travel through the through the employees around here? How about what? About stuff going on. Stuff going on. Yeah, when something happens, you know how long it takes to get back to me? Not very long. Not very long. Johnny boy here. Word got back to Caleb that John's got an interview somewhere. Well, I didn't know that to be honest with you. Eric's lying. John's doing all this work and he's gonna go work somewhere else. John, when's your interview? Monday. Monday? Where at? Three on. Was that in Prairie? Yeah. No. Don't you feel like you could have came and talked to me or something? Or maybe you mentioned that or communication? Maybe. Something. Maybe. Sure, I could have. I'm assuming, if I had to guess, you probably just want to make more money. Pretty There's much more money. And what else? Hours. Hours. Okay. So you want more hours? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. I pretty much got told about five years ago to buy a house. Oh. How many, uh, how many hours do you guys usually get? Because I have no idea. What do you Apart from 30 feet to 40. Yeah. Well, you guys can always ask me for more hours, you know. I don't think all summer you guys have asked me one time, so I don't really care. You guys get done early or something's going on and you want to work, there's always stuff I can find for you guys to do. Watching you do that doesn't make me feel as impressed by the strong men competitions anymore. Yeah. You did that pretty easy and you don't even practice that type of stuff. There's somehow even less words spoke than I thought there was going to be. Well, I'm... I don't know. I don't talk a lot. And John don't talk a lot, so I don't know. He's got to do what, what he wants to do. So we got to put forks on this bitch. It's all good, Derek. Derek's going to be on the mowing crew.
slides a little long. It's about as good as it's getting right there, Caleb. One of those level. Aren't those in too far? What do you mean in too far? Won't that hit the, won't those hit the frame? That won't work, will it? Wanna hit the frame? Cause I know nothing's changed on the hoist since we took that cab off of it. Where's the cab mount though? You ain't it right? right cab mount's here. right here. Yeah, so how the hell is that? You ain't gonna be able to set it down on the frame. So I think those gotta get tucked in further or something, or just set it on the rockers maybe. Try that. I think that might be our best option. Yeah. Except do it where we're fucking up the rockers. I think we try that. Cause I think that's gonna be in your way. What happen if we do it just like that and then just have Caleb come slowly back? See if we can get the back to set. I think that'd be perfect right there. Well, let's try and bump it up on the hoist a little bit and see what it does. See if it's gonna bend those rockers or what. Eric's side's an inch and a half lower too. So technically Eric should have an inch and a half more. I'd just bump it another time and see if it's going to bend those rockers or not. That's bending the back side. Is it touching the front? The front's touching, it's just this corner's not right now. So it's bending Eric's side? Yeah. But once it gets on all four, it probably won't. I think yeah, we'll be good. Well, you want to lift Eric's side by hand while he bumps it? Just maybe lift this back corner and help it a little bit? So it's not bending it. Well, right now we're off the forks. Oh, okay. I'll bump it again, see if it's going to bend. Like it bent it just a hair, but it's not doing anything else. Want me to go up a little bit, John, and see if it levels itself out? Well, I got a shim in there now. Okay. So. so you think we're good to go up? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like when they pulled the cab off the first time, they kind of bent the rockers. Oh, yeah. Is this our shift cable or is that? We'll have to get it out of. Oh, okay. That one, it's bolted underneath the floor, so I gotta, when you pick it up, I'll just, we'll go under there and pull it. Oh, there's a bunch of fluid film in there. Uh, thinking about fluid film or something. Might as well off. Uh, yeah. Like Do we have some? I don't think we got any spray cans of it though. All we got is that big fucking bucket. Yeah, we can do that later, I guess. I guess just worry about getting it mounted on there and rushed free. Line this up when you're. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure the wheels are straight and the steering wheel straight. I'll probably still send it out for an alignment after we're done with the steering box. But it all looks like you guys got it under control here. So. Can you just snip this yeah. off? Yeah, I don't want that. Just cut it off. Is there another plug that goes on that or what? And they were both destroyed. Oh, really? The one out of the cab that was on 208, that was so dry rotted it just fell apart when we pulled it through. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to get another one or something. All right, let me know if you need anything, I guess. Okay. Should be pretty straightforward now. There, see how rusty this cap was? <clears throat> so this plate is something we put in here as a patch, because look. Ooh, it's gone. <laughs> like your feet fall through. Did you guys switch that accelerator pedal? Yes, the pedal on the we switched. Hmm, is the plug in the same? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Huh. Everything was basically plug and play. Okay. I didn't know if that would be different on a diesel or not. I guess probably not, but. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. Well, looks like they got that under control. They're actually doing really good on timeline. Um, I think if they come in half a day tomorrow, they could probably have a truck back on the road. So, good news there. 
Yeah, and John's not too talkative. Whatever. I will uh, talk to him a little later in person without the camera, without Derek, and uh, see what he's thinking. I just wish he would have came and talked to me and, you know, said, hey, I want more hours or, hey, I need a little more money. What can I do? So, it is what it is, man. Yesterday with that track machine, so it took four months to get that drive motor for the track machine. So four months ago, I ordered the tensioner assembly um, from John Deere. And we finally got the motor, so I called John Deere and I said, hey, you got those parts? He says, no, we, we sent them back. They sat here for two months. And I was like, okay, well, do you think maybe, like, could have called me and said, your parts are here? Can you come get them? Well, I tried calling. I tried calling. I said, well, you never called me. Well, I called one of your employees or one of your guys or something, and nobody got back to us. Okay. I don't know. He was just... He seemed like he was upset with me, and I'm like, you guys never... In all the years I've been ordering parts from John Deere, they never call you when the parts come in. They never do. So whatever, he just reordered them. I was like, whatever. I don't, I don't care. It don't matter to me. But don't be mad at me because my parts sat there for two months. You know, I didn't really need them right away. It wasn't a big deal. But if he called, I would have just went and got them. I don't know. We don't have that problem with the Bobcat dealer. The Bobcat dealer calls us, communicates with us, and they even drop parts off for us. They deliver them. So, if you're wondering why we went with Bobcat, that's part of the reason. We'll go check on Sydney and Justin, see how them guys are doing. Usually the phone's ringing pretty good on Fridays, so usually Usually afternoon Fridays, the phones get pretty busy around here. People calling for estimates. Justin's car is looking all good. Did I tell you the check engine light's on in that? She's part of the family now. Gotta have check engine light on if you're here at Pagel Services. Did you do that on purpose or did it just come up? Came on. It's just like a factory option around here. Everything's got the check engine light on. Even my personal vehicle has check engine light on. See? That's what I'm saying. It's just been around here too much. And that's a Dodge. Yeah, what's going on? Making any money? Um, yeah. What? You're not be spending money. No. Just bills. Bills. You. Oh, how many estimates you got left? Oh, a couple if they call me back. I mean, really, we'll delete all this once we get them in the... Once I start using that CRM. Yeah, because once it's in that, it'll just automatically track and yeah. it'll all be digital, so it's not. Which really, I mean, how far away are we from that? Not like, very. It'll be easier to implement the landscape side of things versus like mowing and stuff, just as far as like routing. I've never looked at one of these. I do a gasser invoice. I always wondered if people charge stuff to me and I don't know about it. Well, I ordered a crankshaft for my vehicle, so... Yeah, because you know what the fuck a crankshaft is. Is that a real thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sydney, feeling better? No. You're still sick? Yeah. Justin, you're literally the only one left. I'm holding on. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah, oh yeah. Did he tell you? Dan and yeah, Holly Dan are both Holly sick now? Yeah. Holly never gets sick, so if she's sick, it's coming for you, buddy. Oh, I like it'll happen during the weekend. So we're gonna wait for Hunter to get done with the excavator and then we'll go load that up, probably move that. Looks like they got everything taken care of in the office there. Justin does a really good job at, uh, does a good job at his job and uh, Sydney's catching on pretty good. So really don't need to babysit her. She's doing good. So I gotta quit saying so, did you see that? comment so sorry so normally I edit them out oh, and you didn't on that video you told me to keep it long 
well, how many, how much longer is the video going to be if we put my soaps in there? Ooh, seven minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, somebody commented and was complaining about me saying so, which I do say that's my filler word, clearly, but, you know, like I told the guy, let's record you for a day and I'll bet you, you find a filler word. I don't know. We just tell Derek to edit them out. Just have to keep editing those out. We're going... <laughs> trying not to use the word. <laughs> what other word could you use? Nothing. You just never, you never, you need to use it. <clears throat> We're going to the shop to get the dump truck in the trailer and go move some equipment. Go Billy, big rigging. Sounds like we got a load of rock to deliver today too. And there's two loads of dirt going out, which I'll have to take those this afternoon, but busy day and it's 9.40. That's what John was trying to find. He couldn't find no string, but he found some wire. I just been put the bar inside the rim and turning it. And it turns like a son of a bitch. I think you could probably get away with just doing this back corner thing, you know? Just doing each corner. Instead of all four. Alright, now I'll start turning back. Turn some more. first. That could move the truck with a skid loader for the back one. So check that one out there. I think I just put a jack under that skid plate and slide That's it. That's what I was thinking. We're off the ground now. Kick them tires straight on the jack. Gonna come ahead a little bit. All right, let's go, Montego. Hey, hey, hey. We'll turn her off. Uh, I want to scrub that windshield. It's full of bugs. Hunter, is this you today? That's you today, huh? Should we have a race to see who gets done first? <laughs> They're almost done. Yeah, but they still gotta make sure it starts. <laughs> that's that's the moment I want to be here. Yes. <laughs> I want to be here it's for the turnkey. Go. So it's gonna do. See, I already know this will start. You do? This will start as is, yeah. But will it move after it starts? saying so anymore so I gotta go grab the trailer move some machinery around here this truck does have a little bit of a leak it's always done that that'd be all right check engine light ain't on that's not good can you guess how many loads we hauled out of here like this year or what yeah how many loads of dirt were in this pile 50. Must have looked at my desk. Was it on the nose? Yeah, it's 50. 5 0. 50 big quad loads. Well, we'll just hook this big old dump truck up right here, boy. You have to expose my hitch. Expose me. It's the first time I've ever been told to do that. Please.
First time. <laughs> First try. Good job. That's what Dude Perfect does. You know what Dude Perfect is? They just do trick shots, and they're always like, oh, first time. Oh, that's and they, where they're like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> you tried it 3,000 times before that. No bullshit here, Derek. Speaking of cups, have you ever seen that two girls, one cup video? No. I don't know what that is. All right, well, don't search it then. Apparently, somebody's been watching me. They know what I'm searching. I don't know. I got an email last night from some guy that said he was gonna expose, I don't know, he's basically gonna send a video of me playing with myself to all my friends and family if I don't send him $2,000 in Bitcoin. It's the first time I've ever had to buy Bitcoin. <laughs> I knew this comment was gonna happen about me bitching about this dirt. Guy says, I've been running skid loader for 30 years, I've never had that problem. Well, you're just dilly-dallying around, scooping rock and scooping dirt. I was trying to push a giant dirt pile to break the pile up. So, when you're pushing dirt, like a big boy, sometimes you're gonna have dirt roll off the top here, and then it gets stuck in here. So don't tell me that it's operator error. Like, I'm using this machine you know I'm pushing dirt piles sometimes some dirt's gonna roll over and trust me the second it does it's stuck in there now we're literally just going across town normally I wouldn't chain this down but we got the chain police around here. The state patrol watches my videos. We're gonna chain her down today for her two mile journey. I was just thinking about John going to work somewhere else. And I know a lot of people think I'm an asshole boss, but I'm really not. Um, I was just thinking about Dan this morning. So Dan was sick this morning. He messaged me at like 7.30 and says, I feel like shit this morning. That's it. No other message, nothing. I just said, okay, no problem. Now I'm just thinking about John going to a factory or some big time job. Think they're gonna let him do that? Probably not. Derek's done that a couple times message me at like 6 30. tell me if you like shit and i just say no big deal but man people on fucking instagram this boss is a fucking asshole got people leaving me shit google reviews saying i'm a fucking dick well i watched the 40 second short that guy's an asshole let's go Sick of this shit. <laughs> it's a Friday. We're all in a good mood here. Everything's going great. We made it. Big delivery, boys. A big load. You guys are still pressure washing. Man. The ground's got to be soggy. We're going to dump the track machine and we're going to pick up the excavator. A little flippity flop. Here we go. Why we chain this down, Derek? We weren't going that far. What has he got it in full throttle? I'm not running. I'm not running after that. Is that worth it? Right. Let's get some footage of me swapping here and then you take off 20 miles an hour. You know I can't run that fast. Everybody's in a bad mood today. I'm not. You're in a great mood. Yeah. Hey, five. Yes. Well, let's see how much dirt gets trapped in the quick catch plate like it does on the bobcat. Never does dirt get stuck in here. It rolls out, it rolls out, and your pins, everything is encased in there. See if the key turns on. Did they do it right? 